All right, this is a work in progress. <coughs> this is what I've done so far on trying to get this um, monster truck suspension to actually articulate as a real one would. And all using rigid body physics and constraints. I'm still having tons of issues with it, but I do did want to share go ahead and share this because I do think it's starting to work. Let me go ahead and press play. You can see the suspension articulating. And let me raise the weight of this <coughs> so you can see it better. All right. But it doesn't like settling very well. It kind of it stays a little twitchy. But let me add the van to it so we can get a better look at what it's doing. It's still a little stiff. But see how it's kind of twitchy? It's like it doesn't have enough dampening. Now, I've been playing around with the dampening settings because <coughs> I have all these settings over here. I got a little cough, so if I'm coughing, I apologize if it's hurting your ears. I still need to mess with the numbers quite a bit, you know. But like I said, it's a work in progress. It's kind of working kinda <coughs> I wonder how much a monster truck does weigh how much does a monster truck weigh I'm asking Google 10,000 pounds according to macaroni kid Rockville Gaithersburg trucks usually 12 feet tall and about 12 feet wide a monster truck must weigh a minimum of 10,000 pounds with some monster trucks weighing as much as 12,000 pounds all right they're saying between 10,000 and 12,000 pounds and I have this one weighing 10,000 kilos so <coughs> it's still a little it's definitely too <coughs> the suspension's definitely too stiff for that weight let me see if I can't uh, lower the stiffness on the suspension just a little bit. Because I think this is the one I'm working on. Let me change this to... Uh, 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let me change the other one. One more zero. I think that's the same. Yeah. All right, this should be about one tenth as stiff I'm guessing no didn't make much difference I don't I'm not exactly for sure what I'm doing wrong um, I'm probably gonna have to redo the suspension from ground up to really kinda line it out but the important thing is I'm I'm starting to figure out how to get the suspension at least articulating like it's supposed to but Anyway, let me lower this dampening so maybe that'll help. Let me change it from 50,000 down to 10,000.
Uh, still not much much of a difference. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, I'll have to figure it out. It's it's I'm starting to iron it out. But I figured I'd post this. I thought it was kind of interesting to see the suspension articulate like it is, even if it is not quite right. But anyway, later people.